My name is Gloria Foltz and I'm from Richfield. Well, I'll primarily talk about um, the Irvin Graybill family and the three children who served in World War I, um, being Irvin Jr., um, Winey, and Elda, who was a nurse. She went over at the same time as her brothers. From this letter I have today, it sounded like she had gone on a separate ship because she was hoping in this letter that maybe they would be going home on the same ship. She was one of the elder children of uh, Irvin and Barbara Graybill, who, who lived in Paxtonville. They were um, a very uh, involved family in terms of being involved in local issues and you know service <clears throat> to their community, and they really tried to um, you know contribute to to the community. I mean, they had a lot of children and there was a farm there, so I would think it still did impact what work they were able to do on the farm. And also, um, just even, they were, that family, they all, a number of them went on to higher education, so I'm, I imagine that it delayed, you know, the, the time that they would have gotten into the service. Fortunately. They all survived the war, um, which is, you know, a blessing because a lot of soldiers didn't. They held a gathering in 1918, August 1918, because the mother, Barbara, was upset about her children being off at war. And that was the formation of a big reunion, the Grable reunion held in Richfield. Um, a few years that it wasn't held in World War I, too, but has continued till today. In getting involved in the reunion um, and talking to the other people who've, you know, shared an interest in it, it's just broadened my life. It's important to have a sense of history and where your family came from and what they did, and also the sacrifices that people were willing to make 